Good morning, students. I'm Justin Choi with your morning news live broadcast. Today is Thursday, August 22nd, day three. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we praise you and thank you for all that is good in our lives. We continue to place our trust in you. Help us find our way as we journey through life and to remember that we are loved just as we are. Thank you for the blessing of our parents who try their best to nurture us and lead us towards the right path. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Once again, changes have been made to your schedules. Please get a copy of your new schedule on Edline. If you haven't already done so, please turn in your emergency form, field trip form, and photo, photo handbook verification form. If you fail to submit these forms by tomorrow, you will be sent home Monday morning. If you are assigned to a reading class, please report to the library. Again, if you are assigned to reading class, please report to the library during your scheduled time. School photo retakes and absentees. House of Photography will be here Tuesday morning in the Kamaaina Kids Room down in Marion Hall. They will be taking ID pictures of students, faculty, and staff who are absent from or did not take their pictures on orientation day and those who want to retake their pictures. The time for picture taking will be at 8 to 8.30 a.m. and at 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Order forms for picture packets will be available in the front office at elementary school. A reminder to all students, make sure all electronic devices and any accessories such as headphones or earphones of any size are put away when you are walking around campus. Devices may be used to listen to music only. You may bring them out and use them in the ASC, the senior courtyard, and the library. Teachers will confiscate any devices should they see them being used improperly or in the wrong area. Attention junior high and high school. If you have a t-shirt design idea, please submit it to your class officers no later than tomorrow. Again, please turn in your t-shirt designs by tomorrow. All homerooms will vote on their shirt during homeroom on Monday. Are you still interested in going to Europe or weren't here yesterday? For your viewing pleasure and your information, we have a slideshow voiced by Dilit Sumida by Ms. Sievertsen. In 2014, St. Francis School is taking a group to London, Paris, Switzerland, Assisi, Pisa, Florence, and Rome for a social study credit. Ms. Severson is very excited that St. Francis School is able to offer this wonderful experience to our students. She truly believes that the benefits of international travel for young learners are endless. The students will have the opportunity to visit places they have learned about in the classroom, discover academic and personal interests, and create lifelong memories. An international educational experience stands out on a college application and helps prepare you to become a global citizen. If you're interested, please stop by room 207 to pick up hard copy information and registration to present to your parents. All students from the high school are invited. Seniors, please email your senior quote and your baby picture to SFS yearbook 2014 at gmail.com. Your quote must be 25 words or less. Make sure your full name is on the subject line of the email. Quotes and pictures are due by September 6, 2013. 
Fifth and sixth graders who are interested in playing CSL volleyball, please let your homeroom teacher or Miss Tabali know. It will be a fun and exciting year. For practice times, dates, and locations for air riflery, bowling, cross country, cheerleading, football, and volleyball, be sure to check the athletics bulletin board by the library, or you can check the website at www.stfrancisathletics.org. Let's go Saints! Come and support our football team with preseason games on Saturday at Waipahu High School's football field. The intermediate team will be playing against Waianae Intermediate School and will kick off at 5 p.m. And our first varsity team will kick off their game at 5.30 p.m. against Drumheller Composite High School of Alberta, Canada. If you need transportation, please sign up with Coach Mike. A school bus can be provided if there are at least 50 riders. The cost is $4 per person for the round trip. The bus will leave the school at 4 p.m. And, re and return at the end of the varsity game. Admissions fees to the games have also been discounted for St. Francis School students. The cost will be $3 with your school ID and $7 general admission. Anyone who wants to be on the field when the team is introduced is welcome to participate. Please see Ace Diego. Sorry, no balloons will be allowed. Plus, I have a challenge for you, all courtesy of Miss Curry. Anyone attending the game will earn free dress on Tuesday, and the division with the most attendees will earn spirit points. Remember, at the end of the school year, the division with the most spirit points will enjoy a surprise. Let's support our Saints. Did you know that August had the highest percentage of births in the year? Did you also know that the Hawaiian alphabet had 12 letters? Also, did you know that most lipsticks contain fish scales? Finally, did you know that the ostrich eye is bigger than its brain? And that's our morning news. I'm Justin Choi. Have a great day and have a great weekend, a spirit of joy.